So h- how many years? How many years have you been playing, Greg? At least 30. 30 years. About 30 myself. 30. It's pushing 20. Pushing 20. <laughs> it's pushing 20. Garrett. Yeah, like over 20. Over 20. So 30, 30. That's like 100 years, man, of experience <laughs> in this room. Are you kidding me? And you know, the greatest thing is I'm still learning. Me too. Oh, Constantly. Wow. Me too. It never stops. It never stops. Wow. Yeah. Now, never. you, you folk, you, you guys added a little bit, you know, to that song. Mm-hmm. What would it sound like if you just played it straight? That's the, that's the way it's written in the hymn books and the traditional way. Ooh, the but hymn then, books. Then we added the nuances of the minor. mixed in with R&B with sure. gospel, so. That's, we, that, that's that 30 years, Greg. Yeah, we, we, we weave all the materials together and it comes right. into a beautiful little right. picture. I mean, you know, to the, to, the, to the average person who hears it, right? Believe it or not, if a person's not a musician, people know good music, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? But there's a little different um, perspective that you have because of what you're playing. You, we all know that. Yes. that. There's a different perspective that you have when you think about what you're playing. And then if you mess around and you have a relationship with God. Absolutely. Then that's, an, that's another layer. And then you mess around and have, and have gone through a couple of things in life. Come on, man. Yeah. That's another thing. Then that's sure. another layer. Right? <laughs> and then... Right? Oh, yes. Right? Or, yes, sir. Right? Or, or if things are just kind of real intense right yeah. now in your life, it's mm-hmm. like, it's, it's, a different, it's a different ball game, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right? It's a different it ball game. everything. Right? So do you think that, that that's involved when, when you gentlemen play? That that's oh, part man. of that. Are you is, serious? Yeah. That's Absolutely. Part, that's an unfair question because, yeah. <laughs> bless the Lord, oh, my soul, with all that oh, yes. within me. All that's in you, man. Everything that's oh, yeah. in me. I'm so upset right yeah. now. I'm mad. I'm angry, but bless the Lord. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's like you said. Do you, when you live through this world we're living in, yes, sir. Then and then gospel music, the the words, it it makes you feel good. It anyway. touches a different place, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It does. You it, know, it, really. It just, I I can go ahead. I'm sorry. Just lyrically, those things say something to you. Then yeah. the melody of the song is like all that's doing something to you. You feeling like. Ooh, <laughs> that little feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> I, I'd like to say I was going to call it revolutionary because anything yeah. that's yeah. revolutionary causes you to want to make some type of change exactly. or jump in and become yeah. involved. Mm-hmm. You know, I became closer to mm-hmm. God through through music, man. Yeah. That's what that's what kept. I mean, besides my parents being pastors and evangelists, like that, that that's what kept me in the church, like. You know, I had friends that was in the streets and was gangbanging and doing all that other stuff. But, like, playing drums in church is what kept me, like, wanting to go to church on Sunday mornings, wanting to go to choir rehearsal, Bible study, Friday night evangelistic service, and all yeah. throughout the week. Like, that's what kept me wanting to come to church until my relationship sure. developed and I began to learn God for, sure. for myself. You know what I'm saying? But th- right. this is what made me run to the church, though. Right. This right I'm going to open up a can of worms here, fellas. I just had something that's kind of been on, you know, my heart. And I, I, I know uh, that it's been troubling me, you know, for some time. And I'm going to ask a question mm-hmm. and feel free to answer. <laughs> um, have church folks become too fake? <laughs> uh, this is huge. 
here and play. I'm, I'm just asking a question. I'm, I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. Because you said, bless the Lord, all my soul, right? Yeah. And all that's just within me, right? Mm -hmm. How, that, that sums up some type of feeling, right? It touches mm -hmm. a place that if I'm really listening, yeah. if yes. I'm really trying mm -hmm. to be impactful, and I give my all, my everything, that, that song is not going to be a dry eye in the house. Right, right. Not really. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I asked the question that, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, start, start a riot here <laughs> or anything like that. But, you know, when it doesn't line up with where your heart is, where, where your heart is, people see that, don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, I mean, they, they do. And that's probably something that more than anything that, mm -hmm. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. If I'm taking that approach, man, to everything, you can't lose. It's, it, dude, it's no losing. No losing. It's, yeah. it's no losing. It's no losing at all. Mm -hmm. It's no losing at all. So, um, I, I want to get back into some more music, man. I wasn't trying to, you know, trying to start too much <laughs> trouble, fellas. But I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad you stopped on because I was going to ask. Yeah, it was about <laughs> to go somewhere. <laughs> it's too much to go on with that one. But just stop provoking, though, right? I mean, absolutely. I, absolutely. I'd rather be more real with you, Craig. Yeah. Than <laughs> didn't just. I, that's but almost, people, people are just fake everywhere, so it's yes. not just yeah. the church. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just like the sure. musicians are not the only guy that's the bad guy sometimes, even though you know. I got you. Everybody. Let's play some music. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey, this is a whole other discussion. Whole discussion. Other right. <laughs> okay. Never mind. You... Oh, as you guys are getting back uh, into it, you know, I, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the reason why we are here, of course, is to make sure that we are given uh, and poured out to those folks who want to know more, who want to be a part of, you know, this man explosion with uh, bettering yourself as a musician. Uh, Jonathan Powell joined uh, uh, hearingplay.com um, way back in uh, 2005 uh, to take the vision uh, to another level. And uh, he's uh, an accomplished musician within himself, uh, works a lot behind the scenes, but uh, he's also very, very talented in making sure that there's good product. Uh, and information out there for those folks who want to better themselves. So, fellas, uh, I'm I'm ready to hear something else, man. I know that you all are are, are ready to go, and we we'll look forward to hearing from you. Okay. how to play fast, up-tempo shouting music? Well, we've got you covered. Look over the shoulders of David Jackson as he shares his best-kept secrets. Then we have the famous walk-up. All right? So I like to, because of the key signature, I like to kind of play with the inversions. So we start on the three, the F bass note, left hand chord is E flat, a, A natural, D natural. Right hand is going to be an A natural, a D natural, and F. Join David and these nine other world-class musicians in this four-and-a-half, three-disc program absolutely free. Well, what are you waiting for? your free course uh -oh. and explode your no plane. Bass.
Want to spice up special occasion songs like Jesus Loves the Little Children? Then this masterclass is for you. Explore alternate chord progressions and routes with Jason Freeman. So these chords are really close. Only thing you move with this chord from the G to the F sharp is you're just moving your pinky. You're moving your thumb over to that E, like this. You can use that if you want to. You can use your thumb either way. Whichever one is easier for you. In your right hand, you're just moving your thumb. Join Jason and these nine other world-class musicians in this four and a half, three disc program, absolutely free. Well, what are you waiting for? Claim your free course and explode your playing.
so there is, there's no way that um, we're going to go through all that <laughs> without you all sharing what was taking place. Because we heard one, two, I heard at least three key changes, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, mm -hmm. it sounds like it, it would be a good song that if you wanted to learn how to play in all 12 keys. Yeah. Definitely. Because Absolutely. the jumps are so far. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, you just. Yeah, wow, isn't it? It's, 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 you can stretch it. But it sounds like to me, right? I mean, if, if you're struggling, right? I'm, I'm going to say a word right now. You guys are probably going to laugh. If you're transposing, <laughs> right? Yeah, you'll be fixed on this song. You, still. You'll be. <laughs> you'll be right? fixed. If you don't transpose when the director goes. <laughs> right? Better well, hire a button pusher. <laughs> well, for experienced players, right, that's something that I'm sure you guys have reached back and helped other musicians, right, when they All can't the play in certain keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what are the keys that they usually, usually struggle at, keyboardists? B and E A, and A, D, 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 E flat, F sharp, G flat, mostly B flat. Caucasian keys. <laughs> mostly the Caucasian keys. And why, why do you think that is? It, that? It, it feels funny to the hand. It, it's not, okay. it, 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 uh, I don't know. It feels funny to my hands, but I've, I've learned to adjust and just roll and, and, and uh, I don't know. Make no excuses. Just make it happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because the choir right. is following you. Yeah. And the singers are following you. And the director, whoever is directing the choir, has to feel the freedom to be able to go wherever they want to go and trust that you will be there. So it, it, it's just, it's a mixture of knowing the music, okay. but it's a mindset. Yeah. It's like, make no excuses. Yeah. They count on you. And, and you will destroy the flow. <laughs> if you don't know. If you don't know how to <laughs> cover those bases and jump from the one to the five and playing with crazy people like Mike Burrell who would oh, throw those oh. in for the heck of it, <laughs> right, you, right. You, you, you'll be fixed. Ain't right. no transposing that will help you of course. playing with guys like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. help yeah. is that. Is that typically something that makes you not want to Play with someone if you know that they can't. Well, not make it. Maybe that's not a good no, best way to no. it. Is it does it uh, makes you hinder? not depend on them? Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, the it's being dependable is more than anything yeah, with keyboard. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's the thing because because in a worship experience you can't say whoops and we start over. Mm -mm. I mean you can. But... Everybody lift your hands. <laughs> that's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> The flow is gone. It's gone. <laughs> so, so, so does that, I guess you could say, does the, the mistakes that we make when you first start out, right? And you said, you said E, you said A, E, you said B. B is real, yeah. Right? Those are, for, for some reason, they're tough keys because most songs people aren't written. Even, most people don't practice in them anyway, so that's why it's hard. They don't do their scales, which is another reason it's hard because scales help you get in between where you need to be. Because, preach, like he said, your fingers feel weird playing an A, but it's so beautiful when you get it. I, got I mean, it blows your mind when you get there because if you do your scales, which yeah. is basic math pretty much and music, then you can play in every key. But well, slow that down. What do you mean by basic math, Greg? Help, help like, us out with that. I'll play a Basic scale. That's all I'm saying is do that. And when you do the basic scale, you learn that that chord is in there. That is in there. And all these all these crazy intricate notes are in that scale. But you, if you know the scale, then you can play in that weird key. Sure. Yeah. So, I would which imagine. Is not a, excuse me. It's not a weird key. It's just the key you're not used to playing it. Right. Because E I'll, flat is easy. I would imagine that with that concept, then you also should be able to figure out the pattern of the song as well, if you're Definitely. scale, right? Yes. So, Eddie, how do, how do you practice your scales? Is that... That's, that's the basics, knowing the melody and knowing the inner workings of it, the, the variations of it, you know? Genius, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, <laughs> those, the, the variations of it. But knowing the basics, it, 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 um, it settles you and it makes moving from key to key uniform. Mm -hmm. That's the goal is to get a certain level of comfortability where it's even across each key. Yeah. yeah. And how long does that typically take? I don't really know. I'll tell you this. <laughs> I'll tell you this. How long should it take? Being in church <laughs> puts you on a fast track oh, to yeah. it. Yeah. Immediately. It gives you a, a, a crazy advantage <laughs> yeah, yeah. because people singing whatever key, they're not, mm -hmm. they, they don't care if Which you one can't you play, like. what, they don't care what key you feel comfortable in. Sure. They're going to pick whatever voice, whatever right. key feels comfortable to their voice. Right. And if you can't adjust, you're going to get kicked off the organ like I did many times. Me oh, too. wow. So, yeah. That was that humble beginning. We oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, they I, got me together. I had big guys come over and play over my shoulder like, you're not playing a song right time. Oh, yeah. 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 But I, you know, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, there was a lot of that, right? I thank a lot of God for it. Give it back. Thank you know, God for it. Yeah. That's that's a yeah. lot of what's wrong with today, though. Like, like when I was coming up, you came up under somebody. Mm -hmm. Like now, YouTube and social media has fast tracked everybody to be good overnight. It's like everybody's entitled. They feel like they've learned a few things and they're ready to get a check, ready to get a gig but they haven't been nurtured or brought up by anyone. So right. a lot of, a lot of interest, intric intricacies or nuances are missing in their playing. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 yeah. I call them the bastard musicians. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. super talented, <laughs> super good, got an oh, amazing... I almost hit it your mic. But they're just out there. They're just out there. Yeah. Just yeah. out there. Right. That's, just, that's, like, that's like the pastor that didn't come from anywhere. Mm -hmm. He was never under anybody. He just woke up one morning, studied, got some dope messages together, and said, I'm going to just yeah. start a church. That's what I equate that Never with. learned yes. the application. Never learned yeah. application, appropriation, association, mm -hmm. none of those things. Yeah, right. And then they just get on. And then it's like a generation of them now. So it's like if, you don't, if you're almost not like them, you, you're the weird one now. Right. It's right. like, oh, you, you, playing, you playing like that? Or you playing the right way? Or you playing correct? Right. Oh, that's old school. You just like, no, that's the yeah, right that's way. That's the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, we were talking, yeah. before, you know, before, you know, I've, I've run across a lot of, you know, musicians, right? And I've always got along with bass players and drummers. They just, <laughs> they've always been just real cool. You know, I don't, I don't know. I said, but man, I've come across some pretty <laughs> arrogant <laughs> keyboard players, you know. Oh, Eddie is all good, very mm -hmm. humble, right? Craig's all good. But I'm not, not trying to put anybody's name I out there. I get you, though. I get it. But we're just saying, where does that... Is there any room for arrogance? It's not. This? It's not. And having <laughs> having information, <laughs> having wow. the ability to do something right. means nothing without the proper application of it. And that comes with time. There is no fast way to learning how to apply. Yeah. musical concepts there, there's no easy or fast way you can learn anybody can sit in a room for eight hours a day and come up with enough come out with enough chops to burn up the keyboard yeah. mm -hmm. but the proper app proper application of it comes right. with time right you know and that's you know I, I had to learn that from people you know you know the late Craig Tyson he you know I wanted to explore all of these crazy things but not be aware of what's going on around me. It's field awareness. It's 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 a team thing. That's why I I am I'm, I'm so crazy about the game of basketball. Oh yeah. Because there are so many dynamics that make a team or an individual player special. Right. You you have all of this talent, but you got to know when to hit the gas. When to back off? Mm -hmm. When to 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 trade ideas with somebody? When you have to know all of these operations are the difference between winning and losing, right. and 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 the difference between just another talented player and somebody that's gonna win championships. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. 